there's no doctrine in the mere loss of religion, i.e. atheism, that gets you the gulag. Well, right? hang on. Oh, there is. No, the, 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 there's not. There's not. But, but let, me just, let, me just, let me just flesh out this point for one, one more second. When you're talking about religion, you're talking about the Inquisition, you're talking about the jihadists, you're not talking about somebody who wants to go to their local Anglican church once a year, maybe get the children into school, and maybe when they're at some desolate moment of their lives returns to this as a place that stores meaning. I mean, the thing that I think Jordan and I are in agreement on in this is, is that thing a quote from Schopenhauer in the dialogue on religion when he says you know, that truth may be like water, it needs vessels to carry it. And we, when we were talking about this the other night, you, know, you admitted that one of the consequences perhaps of the, you know, the, the parents sort of going through the belief structures they may not believe in anymore, but they keep doing it is a demonstration of what you said was the, the, you know, the non-embarrassing options that atheists have come up with. Mm. But it may also be that, that since we don't have very many vessels that cracked and damaged and sometimes transparent as they are, what vessels you have might be worth holding on to. Well, no, I think, I think the challenge here is, I mean, it, it feels that, well, for, first of all, we should first notice that these comments very often take the form of, you and I don't need this stuff but most other people do, right? And that is... It, 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 it can do that, yeah. yeah. It, yes, I mean, that's inevitably... And it, it, it sort of t took that form at one moment the other night, where, it's, where you acknowledge that, that people of low intelligence are, are best placed in a conservative paradigm, a traditionally conservative par paradigm, because there's less to think through, right? Now, obviously you don't want your, your view on religion su summarized by it's good for stupid people. Well, I do, I do want it summarized to some degree that way because well, one of the things yes, we do... I'm, I'm giving you not, the opportunity again to put well, this foot in your mouth. But, 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 but yeah. I, would only, I would say not, not only. I mean, the thing is, is that we're all stupid and, and some of us are far stupider than others. But, but, we're, not, but and, we're not that stupid. I well, mean, well but what, what, there's another problem, Sam, I, yeah. I think, and, and, and th this is obviously a contentious one. And one of the things, I, I don't go to church, but there is one thing I admire about the church, and that is that it's managed to serve as a repository for these fundamental underlying fictions for two millennia. And that's really something bloody unbelievable. I mean, the great, um, what would you say? It is bloody unbelievable. Well, look, yeah. Sam, yeah. Everything's, yeah. everything's, everything's yeah. soaked in blood. We, we have no disagreement yep. about that. But yeah. the secular alternatives that we produced in the 20th century were certainly no less blood sodden. But, and no, they produced nothing of any productivity all right, well then, whatsoever. We, we, we did not do it now, but we have to put to bed that secular canard. What because would you it's, do? Well, it's, it's, just, it's just not so that... <laughs> Stalinism was the product of secularism or atheism, and nor were, nor were well, it was a product. It wasn't an inevitable no, no, no. product it, or it, the not, product. It, it, it wasn't. Ba and please, anyone who has this meme in in your head, please just allow the next sentences I speak to just push it out because it's, I'm so sick of hearing this. Uh, this this idea that the greatest crimes of the 20th century were somehow the product of atheism. Right, this, when you look at what actually engineered these atrocities, it was something that looked very much like a religion. It was a religion in every way apart from an explicit commitment to otherworldliness. It was based on... That, that's a big do, difference. ...dogmatism through and through. It was based on a personality cults that, that grew up around figures like Stalin and Hitler and Mao. Uh, it's, these were, the, the, it was not the ideas of Bertrand Russell and David Hume brought us to the gulag or to Auschwitz. Yes, but then you it can't the, say it's the thought of Jesus Christ either. I mean. Well, no, it's true. No, I can say that. I, I, I can say it was the thought of St. Augustine, and I can say it was the thought of St. Thomas Aquinas look, explicitly that gave us the Inquisition. This is, this is a fact. Uh, can I make a suggestion? Yeah. I mean, this is a general one as well as one for tonight, but the whole discussion, I mean, I said the other night in Dublin that to a great extent, when the history books are written about the period we're living in, they'll probably be described as the post-Holocaust period in history, the post-World War II era in Europe. It'll, it's still going on. So we're still, we're still going through this, trying to work out what happened. And I have to say one thing that I, at any rate, am equally tired of 
is the claim that this has got to be a tennis game between the religious and the non-religious. That people say uh, that the 20th century's crimes were committed by atheists. Sometimes true, often wrong. Or that the 20th century's crimes were committed by people who were religious. Sometimes true, often wrong. One you, thing... But you, uh, no, but you're not observing a, a, cr a crucial distinction here. Because I would never be tempted to hold religion accountable for the bad things that religious people do that have no connection to religion, right? So if a Muslim robs a liquor store, I'm not going to blame Islam for that. Right? There's no Particularly doctrine. Not that, there's, yeah. no, there's no <laughs> doctrine. Especially not that. Yeah. <laughs> there's no doctrine that makes sense of that behavior. What, what I blame religion for, and, and likewise, there's no doctrine in the mere loss of religion, i.e. atheism, that gets you the gulag. Well, right? hang on. Well, there is. No, the, 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 there's not. There's not. But, but let, me just, let, me just, let me just flesh out this point for one more second. The only thing I blame religion for are the things that it becomes rational to do by the light of these beliefs. If you accept these doctrines, a rational and good person can be tempted to join ISIS. That's okay. my concern. Okay. A rational and good person can be tempted but, to support the Inquisition. But of the many things they had in common, um, this is the point that David Berlinski made in his book. Um, what did the NKVD have in common with everyone who oversaw the Gulag? The SS, the people who guarded the camps, the people who put people on trains. What did they all have in common? What did they have in common with Mao? Among other things, they had in common the fact that none of them thought that God was watching them. None of them thought that they were being observed and would be held accountable. It, it, it doesn't help when you think God is on your side. We have just as many examples where people do it because they think God, God is on their side, right? Sure. God is watching and clapping. All right, folks, Trav here. I have produced legendary conversations all around the globe. Canada, US, United Kingdom, Australia. And after a long night of discussions, I want to sit down and catch up on some cool intellectual content. But now that I'm in a new country, Netflix says, oh, I'm sorry, this content is no longer available. Enter Private Internet Access VPN, my intellectual companion. Private Internet Access VPN service is not just about unlocking Netflix or Disney Plus content, it's about unlocking a whole new world of intellectual exploration. Click connect and suddenly you have access to a conversation from the other side of the globe that you never even knew existed. This sponsorship with Private Internet Access VPN is about all of us in this community. It is going to allow us to produce more legendary events that will last for years to come. With over 30 million downloads and a no logs policy that has been proven in a court of law, your intellectual property remains yours. It's not just a VPN, it's your shield against unwanted surveillance. All you need is one VPN subscription to protect all of your devices. Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, you name it. With a mind-boggling Pangburn community discount for 83%, you're only gonna be paying $2.03 per month. You also get four months free and a 30-day money-back guarantee. All you thinkers, debaters, and knowledge seekers, hit the link below to secure your new private internet access VPN deal.